Hi folks, Neville here. I'm on the Idea Channel and today I'm going to talk to you about some beautiful ways to make a dozen roses in a different sort of way because we're all familiar with a dozen roses put in a vase with some baby's breath, leather leaf fern and off it goes. But you know, a little predictable. So let's show some different ways that we can show these beautiful flowers off and show our talents as floral designers. Now Smithers Oasis has some beautiful products to work with as we all know. I love the mega wire, I love the flat wire, I love the flat wire, and the bullion wire has fast become a classic in my flower shop. First of all, I'm gonna cage a couple of roses because whether you sell your roses by the dozen, by the each, you can upgrade these so beautifully. Just by using a little bit of wire, I just looped it around the calyx of the rose, make some loops around it, and we're just caging that. And if you do it enough times, you can actually say you're veiling it. How romantic, hey? Isn't that absolutely stunning? Just an upgrade from what is already a beautiful rose to something that's a bit more spectacular with that wire around it. Now, another thing we can do is a topiary. Oh my gosh, when people come in and say, I'd like to make a topiary, please. I, if I had hair, I'd pull it out. However, I can't. So let's look at some beautiful roses. Again, a dozen, in this case, these glorious yellow roses that we're just gonna put together in a bunch. So I'm gonna tape those with a little bit of tape here. The Oasis tape. Once that's done and they're going to be held into place, it's pretty simple. Take some of that glorious flat wire, make a decorative edging, and start whipping that around the roses to make the stem of the topiary. But once it's done, you can get the idea as it goes down to create a lovely stem of roses. Again, with the wire, I just made a little decoration to set on the top with the flat wire and with the mega wire and just again, make some decorative motions. You could make some foliage with this, do all sorts of things, and just add that with the rose to complement. One last little thing I'm gonna show you, again, just for something, just to upgrade a centerpiece with a dozen roses, just a little simple. Just we'll have a look at this centerpiece here with a dozen beautiful lavender roses just embedded within a, a, a little cushion of carnations. Stunning, so simple. But again, just to upgrade that, to elevate that just a little bit, Put some kisses right across it. Isn't that cute? And all it is, I just took some of the mega wire, the little bits and pieces that sometimes will cut a little too much off and have that little bit of extra, and just crisscross them with some bullion wire and tuck those right in the carnations. And one last thing, when you send your roses out, of course, we always have some petals that we've taken off, some guard or shipping petals. Make a little sachet of those, just a little sachet, and tuck those in with the flowers that you're sending out for your clients, letting them know that this is a great thing to use just to toss across the table for a decorative and very romantic accent in with the candles and the beautiful arrangement. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone, and use these beautiful roses to your advantage and use your brain and all the wonderful things from Smithers Oasis to all of our advantages to upgrade us from the ordinary to the extraordinary. I'm Neville.